Okay. <laughs> what are your hopes for the future of the NWHL? Gosh, I want to keep growing. I feel like if you look at the steps that we've taken over the last few years, and especially the last season, just that really steep growth, I can only imagine if we project that out five, ten years, what it's going to be. Makes me excited. Yeah. I, um, I hope that there are more teams, um, obviously incre increased um, salary cap, and then a TV deal. Um, Twitch has been amazing for the, for the league this year with the amount of viewerships that have tuned in. Um, and if that can, you know, continue to grow, and then if there could be um, a type of, you know, TV content, um, you know, I think that would be huge for the league. Yeah, I totally agree with both of those. Tori, do you have anything to add? Um, I agree with everything said. Um, maybe, like, we could make NWHL uh, TikTok famous. Maybe not a famous <laughs> thing. <but laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Anyone does Tori, do a TikTok for us. TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lexi, you have one for you. Okay, Lexi, would you consider yourself more of a glass out or pass first specialist? I think that I'm a first pass, make the breakout pass kind of player. I think that's what I really strive to excel at. Yeah, the cross ice. I feel like the cross ice Weak pass center. is your bread and bread and butter. Yeah, yeah. To be more specific, I like to pass the puck to Tori and then jump up. <laughs> on <our> side. <laughs> and then yeah. I like to pass it back. Yeah. <laughs> back door. <laughs> and then Lexi goes back door and scores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so first pass, simple plays. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. What's your favorite pregame meal? It depends what time our game's at, I feel like. For yeah. Me. Hmm. I like to have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I don't think I've heard that one before. <laughs> yeah, I guess, Lex, I did not guess that. That is a Call of Duty. I did not see coming from you. <laughs> I mean, it's an ideal situation. You can always get them on the road because you need, like, the sourdough bread and the special peanut butter and the raspberry preserves, but... I don't like the... <laughs> <laughs> what? I like the Uncrustables. <laughs> oh my god. I never got into those. <laughs> I like I like a lot of gluten and Olive Garden. <laughs> as much gluten as possible for as much gluten. <laughs> I like carabas. <laughs> uh, honestly anything light. I don't care what I eat. Oh, Lex prefers nice. the chicken from there as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of meat. Yeah, but it's like that's my favorite. <laughs> okay. Like favorite it. part of playing for the pride? Ooh. Playing with playing with all my friends. Yeah. Yeah, that one is that one that one is yeah, easy. That one's for easy. Me. Definitely friends. I also know that we have the best fans in the league and I think they're all very thankful yeah. for that. It's really fun to play in front of a sold out crowd yeah. warrior. Okay. That was amazing. Tor, do you have anything to add? Nope. Just uh, the environment we play in, just surrounded by really good people. Yeah. Okay. Besides hockey, which is one sport you would do if it saved your life? Hmm. I'd play soccer. I mean, it's oh, so quick. <laughs> I think I would do gymnastics. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. Yeah. What would your event be? Um I think just going at it on the on mm. bars. I the bars scare me. I think that I would just do the floor. Ah, got you. Some more yeah. What about you? Was that what you were gonna pick too? Um well so my sister actually did gymnastics for years and I can't do anything that she does. I give like so much credit to them. Um yeah. I almost played, I almost played, like, college basketball. I, like, wanted to play, I thought I was going to be playing college basketball in college. This was when I was in, like, in, like, middle school or so, and my mom was like, no, <laughs> you're too short, and... <laughs> I feel like I remember you being, I remember hearing you were good at, really good at basketball and baseball tour. Uh, One word spread in Michigan. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Down across the state. <laughs> I think that I would want to play actually kind of a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'd want to golf or play tennis or surf. Yeah, surfing would be sweet too. Surfing would be so tennis. cool. Yeah. Tennis would be really cool. Yeah. They're all in the sun. I just wish hockey yeah. was in the sun. Beach volleyball. Like a, like a beach. Yeah, I was going to say a beach volleyball situation. I wish I was yeah, taller, but good. beach volleyball. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is another good question. Okay. Was there a specific moment of the season you knew you were, you were on a great team? <laughs> <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you guys have an answer? I yeah. was thinking, I, I saw this one ahead of time, so I was thinking about it. Oh, do you, you go first? I'll go for it. Well, it's, it's going to be cheesy, but I think, like, when I knew that we were, like, I was on a really great team and made a great decision to, you know, move to Boston and stuff, was the first time that I heard Demps talk, because Demps is just, like, the cutest and most inspiring. Obviously, you guys know this, but, like, when she first said that she wanted – for us to all put our like hearts entirely into the team and that like make this a place that we want to be every every time we come to practice because the people in the room were the ones we like that all truly wanted to be there especially with this season and everything going on so I thought that that kind of like hit me where I was like that's like so true like everyone comes and is so excited to be there and that made every practice and every game special for sure yeah that was that one for me for me it definitely was when we had our first team get together um yes i i hosted um, <laughs> but when the team was over and everyone was there and we were just having so much fun and everyone was like bonding like right off the get-go and i was like thinking i know a couple of us were talking about it but i realized it was like i think we have like a really special group this year yeah True. For me, there was one practice where I think that we had a lot of sloppy passes, but everyone just kept pushing through, and then we were all frustrated. But then afterward, on the drive home, Fratty, me, and Demps, like, called each other, and we were just on, like, a call driving home, and we were just dying laughing about how much we love the team. This was, like, two months in, and I think just to have that, like, cohesiveness and know that, like, even when we suck, <laughs> we're going to push through it and keep working was, like, a moment where I was like, wow, we could do something this year. Yeah. Tori? Uh, personally, I feel like I kind of knew before the season even started. I just saw everyone who signed, and I feel like I knew um, a good amount of players that signed to begin with. So um, just knowing that and knowing how they, they are as people, I was like, wow, okay, we're going to have a really fun team. Remember when we skated together in the summer? They oh, yeah, Franny. <laughs> And then I, like, saw that you signed, and I was like, hey, I'm signed, too. <laughs> We're teammates. <laughs> can't wait for this year. You weenies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, man, where were we? Hmm. <laughs> was there a specific – oh, sorry. Oh, this one's an interesting one. Who's the most ticklish? <laughs> if I had to guess, I'd say Jillian Dempsey. She seems like a ticklish human. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't really tickled anyone on the team. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or yeah, I don't know. That, I don't know how to answer that one. Um, I feel like, like I could like... What? No, go ahead. Can you take like quit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am. I am. I if you like. want to be the most ticklish, like you can just say that it's you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I feel like I'm kind of ticklish. I'm trying to think of who else I would think. If I'm being honest, I re really struggle with pedicures because, like, they start touching your feet, and I literally can't do it. Oh, Tor, <laughs> so maybe you're the winner of this one. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm getting pedicures. But I feel that. I totally get that. Maybe you're pretty ticklish. I feel like um, Wolfie is pretty ticklish. <laughs> Fluky? I don't know why I, I can imagine like T being really ticklish too. I feel like I could see her being like, no, I'm not ticklish. And then mm -hmm. like if someone tickled her, I could see her. I could see her being the one. I say Wolfie. I feel like Wolfie. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> What's up? I said we all know who the best dancer is. Oh. Yes. Is that a lot? I know that. Okay. I was going to say Lex is like head bob. <laughs> I have a pretty solid head bob. <laughs> I have caught, I have caught, um, okay, Lauren Kelly doing some, some good moves too. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I've caught her doing some good ones. But you got to be careful. I don't know what. You're really letting it go because Fratty and Tori are always watching you. <laughs> <laughs> I know Tori. You did the. I mean, not Tori. Um, wait. You did the worm once in the locker room, and that was pretty badass. That was, cool. that was after I copied Tori. I could not. I would not have thought to do that if it wasn't for you, Tori. Not necessarily. You went forward. I don't know how you did it forward. <laughs> how you do the worm? I feel like I don't even. <laughs> I just went for that one. I didn't know if that was going to pan out for me. I was like, at least I'm in like full equipment right now, and <laughs> I'm just going to go for it. 